Wrapping up Division Two, the Killingly High School Redmen cheerleading squad. And they're a decent sized team with 13 competing today. And this is a different use of floor. So you see full team tumbling with a nice basket toss. That's a nice strong opening there. As a judge, it's nice to just see something a little different at the end of the at the end of the day. Just something, even if it's not more points, just to have something different than I, what you've seen. I think it's some nice variety. I think it <laughs> sometimes it can get a little monotonous when you see the same same thing over and over again. But each team, even though it's the same thing, they execute it just a little bit differently, and that's what makes cheerleading so unique. Now transitions, formation, spacing, use of the floor. These are all easy points that the what you're going to want to build in your choreography routine. And they're doing a great job doing this. Nice jump. Yeah, it's your toe touch to back handspring. Majority team. And your three advanced jumps. Getting those out of the way in the beginning. So here we're going to go into part, uh, basket tosses. Basket tosses. Oh, I love me a good basket toss. Crowds love them too. Yeah, it's high. The high flyer goes up in the air. And you know, you see the whole team catching. It's a great, very nice yeah. visual. I think we're going to go into a pyramid here. Kind of excited to see what they're going to bring. Yeah, I love the creativity so of the different pyramids. So she's going to switch down, and then it should come right back up. Wow, that's lots of different transitions there. Good job, Killing Life. Now, does how much does size matter for the for the flyers? If you have a you know a really light, tiny person, does that matter? It or doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. It's all about your strength. Some of my most athletic and most muscular flyers are my best flyers. It's your athleticism and your flexibility and your body position. And the Killingly Redmen. Wrapping up Division 2. They're pumped. They yeah, like what they just it. brought they did, to. They did a really good routine. Very minimal bobbles. They should be very, very proud. And as you can see, a coach is very proud. Coach Audrey Jones, very proud of her. Killingly Redmen. And the sports doctor is going to have two very excited girls to talk to as the teams debrief. And our final team of the day, yeah, NFA, NFA. Waits. Sports doctor, who you got? Well, Casey, I got big time here. That's what I got. Killingly Redmen girls. Uh, Corin Capuquillo and Sarah Azizi. Now listen, I heard a little bit of in sync in that routine. You girls were in sync today. Yeah, for sure. We've been working real hard this week, had some difficulties, but we came out here, put it all on the mat. Yeah, you, you got a big squad out there. The tumbling was tremendous, the lifts were great. At what part of the competition, at what part of the presentation do you feel like girls are really cooking? Really cooking? Really cooking, really getting it. I mean, the pyramid, once we hit that, it's all over. We're ready to break it down on the mat and do what we know how to do. And as the, as the, as the routine goes on, do you gain more confidence? For sure. Once we like, get to the pyramid, we know we got it. Like, it's set. So it was a great, a great performance here. Now, how about cheering this year at Killingly? The Redmen, the football team won the state championship. It's been an awesome year up there, hasn't it not? It uh, It was awesome fall season. Watching our boys just win every game. Class M State Champs in football, Casey, and rocking the show here at the X for the cheerleaders.